Now, India is making progress in setting up a new spaceport. This is in line with the country's ambitions to be a formidable player in the global space economy. Once ready, this new facility would make India among the elite nations to operate two or more space ports and carry out dozens of launches a year. In this report, Vion senior correspondent Siddharth MP tells us why India needs a new spaceport and what makes it so special. Take a look. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will ceremonially dedicate an upcoming space infrastructure project to the nation. This is where India's second spaceport is to come up. Spanning across 2300 acres, this facility is situated very close to India's southern tip. It's located in Kula Shekharapattinam in Tamil Nadu. This site is more than 600 kilometers south of India's existing spaceport, Satish Dhawan Space Center, which is located in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Selecting a site for a spaceport is a technical process, and a host of factors are considered geographical location, infrastructure, low population in the region, a huge safety perimeter, favorable weather conditions at the site, etc. Most spaceports in the world are located on the east coast and fairly close to the Earth's equator. This is because the Earth's west to east spin, which is felt maximum at the equator, can add more velocity to the rockets that are launched towards the east. There's also commercial and scientific reasons behind choosing Kula Shekharapattinam. There is a huge commercial demand for small rockets such as ISRO's Small Satellite Launch Vehicle or SSLV. ISRO's SSLV can be assembled in less than a week and made ready to launch on demand. It takes more than a month to assemble larger rockets. Typically, smaller rockets like SSLV are launched to polar orbits that circle above the Earth's poles, whereas larger rockets are launched towards Earth's equator. Sriharikota is best suited for launching rockets into equatorial orbits, which means the satellites will fly over the Earth's equator. But there is also another important orbit that satellites are launched into. This is known as the polar orbits, where the satellites fly over Earth's poles. So when launching from Sriharikota to polar orbit, the satellite will have to fly towards the South Pole. So in that case, the rocket has to be launched further south from Sriharikota towards the South Pole. In that case, it will have to fly, the rocket will have to fly over the Sri Lankan landmass, the island nation towards the south of India. So because of obvious risks of overflying Sri Lanka, what the rockets will do is they're programmed to actually take a diversion from there and take a right turn to avoid the island landmass. However, when launching from Kulashekra Patnam, there is a direct access to the South Polar region, and that's why the second spaceport is so important for India to ensure that rockets can directly fly to the South Pole without taking a diversion. To avoid overflying the Sri Lankan landmass, rockets launched from Sri Harikota spend a considerable amount of fuel and energy. By spending more fuel for a diversion maneuver, rockets lose a small portion of their payload carrying capability. This particularly affects the smaller rockets such as SSLV and limits their ability to carry maximum loads. Thereby, the launch cost becomes expensive. In two years or so, when the second spaceport is operational, India will have the flexibility to use the best suited spaceport as per the demands of the mission. With inputs from Siddharth MP in Sri Harikota, Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.